Hello awesome people, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then just welcome to my channel. My name is Joy, and I do subscription box unboxings and makeup try-ons. And today we are going to be using my Vinci Fling palette that I received out of my Ipsy Plus by Bailey Sarian and Estate Cosmetics. So, I'm not sure what's going on with my lighting. Um, I have natural lighting at the moment. We just finished my room and I haven't got my um, curtains up yet. We're going to be doing that tonight. So I have no lights on because they don't matter. Their natural light is brighter than my, um, my ring light thingies. Um, so I keep changing colors. I'm not sure why that is. Um, I do have my mirror right here now. If you can tell, I have a new setup. Can you see my new setup? Look at this, guys. Look a little looky looky at it. Look how cute that is. Alright. So, now that I'm at my desk, and it's easier to get to everything. I just got to figure out this um, lighting situation because the whole yellow and white thing isn't working with me. So I'm going to start my look off with um, Bonfire. I'm going to play with the pink red type colors using my BH Cosmetics um, Festival Set um, brushes today. So, if you guys have been paying attention, we are almost to 100 subscribers, y'all. Our family is growing. Isn't that so cool? I'm excited. I, the last time I looked, I think it said that I had 94 subscribers. So that means we only need six more and we can do the mystery makeup giveaway. I'm so happy, y'all. Like, I have been sitting on my um, products for a couple of months now because I didn't know how long it would take me to reach 100 subscribers. And it has taken quite a while, but, um, it's, you know, it is what it is. And so when I do the giveaway, I'm not, um, going to put giveaway in the title, um, because by watching other YouTubers, at least the YouTubers that I watch, my beauty gurus, um, girls and guys, um, I've learned from them that if you put giveaway in the title, that uh, maybe you'll get subscribers temporarily just to try to do your giveaway or win your giveaway. And if they don't win, or even if they do win, they unsubscribe and they move on. And so I don't want that to happen, y'all. And so um, when I reach 100 subscribers, then... Um, I'll definitely upload a video, um, and it'll either be me of uh, unboxing something, or doing a try-on, or a get ready with me, and then throughout the video, I will explain the giveaway and explain to everybody what needs to be done in order to win that giveaway. Mm -hmm. Um, so, anyhow, the next thing I'm going to do is go in with Toasty right there. That is kind of a brown. I recorded this look um, a few days ago, but with my new camera and microphone that I have, and I'm still trying to figure out how um, to do it. Like, um, I recorded the whole entire video and I didn't turn the volume on, or the, I didn't turn the microphone on. So, because I didn't turn the microphone on, it um, recorded the whole video, but it was staticky. And I am not that good of an editor, so I don't know how to take the static out and then um, add in words. 
Okay, so the next color that I'm going to go into is um, Rose Tattoo. I am trying to figure out. I do think my editing is getting a little bit better. Um, I'm sure, you know, some people are like, yeah, whatever. You're crazy. It's not getting better. But that's okay. Like, it's fine. But anyways, so I'm super excited. I feel more comfortable. I feel, um, like it's going to be easier for me to do videos and I feel like I'm going to be able to get, um, more work done. And by work, I mean videos. Um, I don't know. It's so funny because like, I don't, I don't get paid or anything. And I do, um, I'll do all of this just for fun, but, um, I kind of treat it like it's a job. I almost have to because, like, I know that I can't just do one video a month and y'all are going to be hanging around. Like, I am realistic enough to know that I have to put a couple of videos out a week. <sighs> Sorry, y'all, I was thirsty. Um... But I also know for my own self that I have to be like, okay, like, this is a job because if not, then I'll just treat it like any other hobby that I have, like painting or coloring or um, crocheting. Like, I just do them once in a while, and that's why I'm not really good at them. And uh, so... I consider this like my job, you know, so that way, um, like I can put, um, content out for y'all because like, I don't want to lose subscribers. Like I want to keep gaining subscribers because it's super cool. Like you get a rush. I never thought that I would get anybody other than my family. Like I knew my mom and my daughter and my husband and, you know, maybe a few other people, friends, you know, other family members. Um, we're going to subscribe to me, but if you have your YouTube channel set for public, then I can tell who my subscribers are, and I have, um, a half a dozen people who are not my family, and, um, they don't even know me, and they keep coming back, like, every time I put on a video, and, um, they're liking them, and they're commenting, and I hope they're watching them all the way. Um, I watch every video all the way even if I don't actually watch it like I have a phone and I have a computer and I know some people can't but I'm able to so I'll put my computer on and I'll go and click on a video and then I can walk away and then I come back like I figure out a way to do it okay so the next thing that I'm going to do I'm going to change my brush I don't know the name of this I got this off of Amazon but I'm going to use the color puppy love right there and um, that works really good though but I am going to do a wear test with this look because I did wear it the other day and I did a wear test because um, I wanted to play around with the palette before I just came in and made a look because like I'm good with making looks, but it takes me a minute, and I'm noticing, like, when I do videos and I'm just on the spot, I, um, gravitate towards, like, neutrals or blues and green, like, a neutral background with, like, a bright blue or a bright green, and, um, it's because I haven't taken the time to sit down and look, so I've just been, on my spare time, I just go ahead and play with makeup, and, um, so I did that and I came up with this look right here and I think it is gorgeous. Now, this palette does have fallout and it don't bother me, but I know it does bother a lot of people. So anyways, um, I was going through and I wanted to try to get some ideas, I guess, steal some ideas from some other YouTube. I had the Vinci Fling palette. So I started watching some um, YouTubers and I noticed that there's a lot of people that are giving Bailey a lot of hate for this palette. So I'm not sure if it's because they're like jealous of her, um, which I'm thinking that's what it is, 
or if um, they just don't really know the right thing about makeup because I haven't done nothing to my face. I haven't primed it yet. I didn't prime my eyes or anything. I mean, I did my, you know, moisturizer and all of that stuff, yes, but um, I didn't do anything. And then later on tonight, I will record and show you guys like how well this makeup actually stays on without any eye, prim eye primer at that. Like, um, I just think it's super crazy that people are even trying to hate on Bailey. Like, um, I don't know. When a product is good, it's good. And I personally think that this product is good. So, I know that a lot of people go off of reviews and like I'm thinking that some of these beauty um, YouTubers that got the um, Vinci Fling palette was upset that they weren't on the PR list is personally my opinion about it and so then they decided just to run their mouth saying that it was a bad palette when it's not a bad palette at all um, and they know it they're just being um, crybabies and like trying to convince everybody you don't you know don't waste your money well here's the thing even if I didn't watch Bailey I would still do this because this is a good palette and has nothing to do with Bailey herself and everything to do with estate cosmetics now this is the only estate cosmetics that I've um, owned in my life but from day one that I've gotten this palette and I've played with it I have been so surprised at how pigmented it is how long it lasts how good it looks after hours of wearing it because I do have eye primers, but for the love of joy, I cannot remember at all to put them on my damn eyes. So, um, yeah. And so, I guess, you know, I'm really good at testing out if products last long or not. Now, if I know I'm going on a date night or to a wedding or somewhere important, then yeah, by all means, like those are the days that I actually remember and um, you know I actually remember actually wear the eye primer because I want to make sure like if it starts raining or something my eyes ain't gonna you know the eyeshadow's not gonna like drip down or you know any of that so sure on occasion um, I do wear eye primer but for my everyday look um, eye primer is not really a necessity because, like, I'm a stay-at-home mom, so the excitement in my day is going to the damn grocery store, if you call that exciting, um, you know, and so I really, even though I wear makeup damn near every day, like, I don't care if I have a primer on my eyes and if I'm not doing anything spectacular that day, you know. Look at that. So, I'm sure, here let me get a brush real quick. I'm gonna scrap. I have some odd brushes that I don't remember where I got them from, or the names. But anyways, so I know if I have to, I can zoom in on you guys and let you get up super close, but I used um, four eyeshadows today and I mixed them all up and I made it look. Um, and later on, you're going to see in the video, 9, 10, 11, 12 o'clock, I have no idea, but I'll um, take my cell phone and show you the time, like, um, okay, so for instance, I'll show you the time right now, um, that I got done without doing my mascara or anything like that, and it is 2, 2.50, um, so I'll make sure that I, um, zoom in on that and so I don't go to bed until like between 11 and 1 in the morning anyways so before I decide to take my face off tonight then I'm definitely gonna jump back on here and show you guys that this 
is not a bad palette no matter who um, collaborated with them or you know it's just it's a really good palette and I don't want people to see all these negative reviews and be like oh I'm not gonna you know spend that money and buy that palette because I heard it's crap when in all reality it's like a very very good palette but okay I'm pause y'all I finished my face and I'll be right back so don't go nowhere alrighty so I am finally finished with my makeup and uh, it took me a little longer than I expected because the goat escaped the lot before the guys got finished. Anyhow, though, so I went ahead and finished up my look. And I um, I think I finally might have bought my color, but I was tired of buying foundation, so I went and bought a whole bunch of different um, concealers. Because I figured if I could find a concealer that matched my skin tone, then I'd have an idea of what uh, my skin colors were. Anyway, so I used um, L'Oreal Paris um, and a fallible concealer in the shade Classic Ivory, and it works really good, and I use that for my foundation. And um, I have my e.l.f. Hydrated Camel Satin Finish in um, Light Peach, and so Light Peach, if anybody wants to know, is um, lighter than Classic Ivory. So Classic Ivory is darker. And then there's that. And then I use my handy dandy um, e.l.f. contouring palette. I used, um, God, a second. I always put it away. I used my NARS um, blush. And then, of course, I had to use my So Extra Winky Luxe Mascara and my Tarte C Surf Circle Mascara. I would love if I could find a mascara that I could use just one of and get what I want out of. And then um, I visited a, uh, mm, I don't know what they're called, it was in the summertime, um, and they had a bunch of like makeup on sale for like 99 cents. So I got a Maybelline um, New York color tattoo up to 24 hour concentrated crayon in the color black. And I actually love using that for my eyeliner. When I cleaned I found a whole bunch of stuff that I haven't seen in a while. And then I just went ahead and used my Tracetic, um Mini matte lip crayon in Florence Fig, that's the color again, for my lips because I didn't want to have a too dramatic um, lipstick. Now, I ain't going to do nothing to my face um, or anything else. I'm just going to go on with the rest of my day and later on tonight I'll be back to show you. The only thing I'm going to have to do is I'll either have to keep replying the lipstick because the Tracy Mini Matte lipsticks are crap. Like seriously, they're they're awful. Um, and they're expensive and they're really awful formula. So um, I'm just going to use them up because they were sent to me in my boxy charm, I believe. But anyways, I will see you all later. Bye. All right, everybody. I am back and it is 11.57 at night. So at 2.50, I finished my eye look. And I decided to do a wear test with the Vinci Fling Palette by Bailey Sarian and Estate Cosmetics. So, um, look at my eyeshadow, you guys. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. Like, everything's still there. The color's still there. It's still on my lid. I used no primers. I use no setting sprays, no setting powders, nothing. And I've went over eight hours, almost nine hours, um, doing my normal day, going shopping, going outside, blah, 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 blah. And look, it's a good freaking eyeshadow palette. So all these bad reviews that are going on about this palette, I seriously think that if Bailey Syrian had nothing to do with it, that people wouldn't have a problem with it. But that's just my opinion. 
Y'all have a wonderful night. Remain awesome.